All right, Coach, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it is our extreme privilege to be on hand for the Super Bowl. And I can't help but look down on this field, partner, and think about the history of this game and all the great players, all the great teams that have stood on the field for this moment so special. This game is so historic that while we call the Super Bowl now, that wasn't even the name of the first couple. It's the AFL-NFL World Championship game before the Super Bowl really took hold. And think about the Green Bay Packers winning the first two that got us kicked off and started towards where we are today. And with the whole world watching at the end of this game, at the end of tonight, one of these two sides, they get to etch their name in NFL immortality. No doubt about it. They hold up the ultimate symbol of victory in this league, the Lombardi Trophy. the 30 to the 31-yard line. Kevin King coming up from the secondary to make the play. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Field to throw it this time. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. First carry for Nick Chubb. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 20. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now second and seven from the 23. Second down, it's Jones. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. to about the 35. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. 
Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Rodgers, and he's going to drop this off to his fullback, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll bring up a third and one. stands so this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards on third down a bullet throw but incomplete nice play there to force the incompletion and to me one thing's for sure when you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road you absolutely have to get takeaways you've got to get the ball from them yeah win that turnover battle going to be key they didn't get one there but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that they might just get a few yeah once you get one defensive teams think they come in bunches a good return there, 17 yards. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try to force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's right, second and two. 56. 56. Second down, Mayfield. He's going to look deep for Pyramid. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Mayfield on third and two. Got an open man. He completes it to Callaway. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. A big play there on third down for the Browns. 43 yards. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 12 more yards there and another first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels.
Well, they've been practicing goal line offense all week. Let's see if they're able to capitalize here. They'll run with Chubb. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stock troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after him, put the pressure on him. He'll get it up the middle. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third in goal now. They'll go with the keeper, and he's in. Touchdown, Browns. With a first touchdown of Super Bowl 53, and the Browns have taken the early lead. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games, and another good start to this one after the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Somewhat awkwardly here, and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Going for a right side here, complete. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first game. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Inside the five, all the way to the three. That one goes for 24 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Point up and good by Crosby, and we are tied at seven. 
so we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. one goes nowhere losing yardage back at the 22 the loss of a full three yards and now it's second down wow that play got shut down in a hurry as soon as the snap came you could see defensively they were just closing in that was going nowhere yeah you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space a little bit of time so you can make a move there was none gone, there for gone. him gone, gone. now this time he'll look to throw and they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. The Browns on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. And that'll set them back five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. running back complete the 21 yards there as they convert on third and this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult anyone playing the linebacker position when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first oftentimes you widen too much and over commit he cuts up inside and that's what we saw there a nice pickup for a first down First and 10, Mayfield. He's going to look deep for Paramount. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Second down throw for Mayfield. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. So into Packer territory now. Here's right, first now, and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. to the ground this time it's Chubb and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage it was Kendall Donerson who made the stop on the defensive side
Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. It's a quarterback sneak, and he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. He'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Detroit! Detroit! Watch it now, Barney! Barney! They'll run for it. Chubb. And he's got Rome. Escapes the defender. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the red zone now, Mayfield underneath for Johnson. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They go with Chubb on second down, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Mayfield looks to throw, and he's got his man. That's Landry. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. So they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? They'll try to run it in. Johnson. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. Now Janikowski for the field goal try. This a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. Now Janikowski for the field goal try. This a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. And Janikowski bangs it through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. 
Well, that drive just seemed to go for an eternity. I could kind of hear our sponsor saying, hey, we need to get our product pushed here. <laughs> but then it ends in a field goal. Yeah, how about that? Not enough time for product placement. But plenty of time to get three points out of the deal. <laughs> I know that the guys on defense, though, they want to get those products out there. They want to stop that drive, just were unable to do so. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. scrimmage and taken down tackle made there by Jabril Peppers so nothing there that time and maybe you need to look to the O-line they weren't able to create any space no they weren't and you know as well as I do as many offensive line coaches we've ever met I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline and they're usually loud and big <laughs> to throw on second down. Try to lay one up deep. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. now for Rodgers. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time and he's going to go down. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And this is taken at the 23. A great return there of 22 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they had three points last time. But they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> and he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Josh Jones in on the stop. <laughs> Mayfield now on second down. Flushed out right. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually, a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah! Mayfield now from the 50. That is caught. It's Perriman. And all the way in. Touchdown. Cleveland, Rashawn Perriman, 50 yards, and the Browns add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. 
And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. First and ten, here's Rodgers. Flush to his right, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Emmanuel Agba in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is. Right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that. I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, and he finds Jimmy Graham. His second catch in the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. First down, Rodgers. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. 319! On play action, it's Rodgers. Trying to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. Third down here. 
His struggles finding open receivers continue. I don't know the last time I saw him this inconsistent throwing the football. It would be hard to find a date when he was this inconsistent. You know, in his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. In fact, I would suggest he laminate it. To throw is Rodgers. To throw on third down. And he fires one, but incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is fielded at the seven. Nowhere to go that time. It's a 46-yard punt with a loss on the return. And the Browns will take over with a first and ten deep in their own territory. to his own six. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs, right, now, but the best the backs that made it happen, the they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson, and he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Mike Daniels makes the tackle third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now the Browns on third down they've had good success five for eight to this point this is third and eight Mayfield off the play fake He's got his tight end in Joku. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Detroit! Detroit! Hurry up, here we go! Blue 90! Blue 90! On first down, they'll run with Chubb. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. There goes Duke Johnson. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. A big run there by Johnson. 47 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, put a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now a handoff, running off tackle right. And he's got this one down to the 10. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. 
A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. on the pickup there and now they've got it first and goal looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run i get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired and that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard they'll try and sneak it here and he takes this one in for a brown score Baker Mayfield with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns add six to their lead. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. Go, go, go. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, there's got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it's a second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Two former All-Pros connecting. Rodgers fighting his tight end, Graham. Packer first down. Rodgers now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Here's Rodgers. Caught left side by Kyle. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little gain. A gain of six there on first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And again, it's Rodgers. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed-out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route-running savvy. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he gets it down to the 32. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Rodgers will bring him up to the line first and ten. And he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. A dump underneath to Jones. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Rodgers to throw once more. He's going to fire one deep open. And this is taken in at the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 
A very solid gain of 27. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. In the slot on the right is Graham. Now Jones. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Dancing under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Miles Garrett able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. Well, they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Terrence Mitchell. Through an opening, and there he goes. He's at the 30, 20, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Janikowski adds the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And following the pick six, and they had decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, Let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back in. Yeah, they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a first down carry by Jones. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Let's go, hey, let's go, come on. Again, it's Jones. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They're making it look easy no, out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays. Three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. A first carry for Elijah McGuire. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now they try the right side here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. 
It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The Packers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third down and 12. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Needed 13, and with a good spot, they got 13 and a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. The give is to Jones. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And Crosby puts it through, and they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, so make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. All of a sudden, they have quite a bit of breathing room. This was a one-score game, but touchdowns on their last two drives, and now comfort is here so to speak <laughs> it certainly is for them i've been in this situation before on the flip side of this and all that's going on there is a little bit of finger pointing hey what's going on how can we stop them can someone make a play to try and stop this momentum well they're going to be ball hawking because they need a turnover on that other side time for a break we're back to crown a champion after this They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> you got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. Detroit! I had an old Detroit! coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They'll run it now out of the gun. Room to run inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 34. That good for 19 at a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now let's go! 319! 319! Let's go, Now a handoff running off tackle right and he'll be brought down oh that's a face mask 
Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's, that's extra line, intensity. Line. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. Now let's go. Blue Following the penalty, Chubb. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Handoff comes to Chubb. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third and one. And how about this? The dog pound gets the crown. The Cleveland Browns are the Super Bowl.